Hey, Steve Stein here, and I thought I would tell you about what I call my secret weapon, which is made by EMG, which I use in all of my guitars that are equipped with EMG, which is pretty much everything that I own. And I use it incorrectly, okay? It's called an SPC control. Now, the SPC control was made originally by EMG for single coil pickups that you wanted to sound more like a humbucker. Well, I don't use it that way. <laughs> what I do is I take that SPC control and I put it where my tone control is. So fortunately or unfortunately, however you look at it, I don't have a tone control on just about any guitar. And, I, and so I've never really gotten used to using a tone control. So it replaces the tone control. And what I do is it's in the circuit and I don't use it if I'm doing something heavy, right? But let's say I'm playing something that's a little more rock oriented and I need a little more gain, okay? Now here's a couple of scenarios where I, I, the, the SPC for me is invaluable. Number one is if I'm playing on somebody else's rig, maybe I'm playing live or I'm playing in the studio or something like that, and a part comes up in a song where I know I need a little more gain for comfort or for um, my execution of a particular thing that I'm doing, and I don't have it, right? I can take that SPC control and just simply roll that all the way up and that will give me more gain. Now, is it an astonishing you know, amount of gain? No, it isn't, but it is noticeable. If you've never used it before, it is noticeable. And the second thing that I use it for is, let's say I'm playing on stage or something and I'm not near my amp. Maybe I'm on the other side of the stage doing whatever or whatever, and a solo comes up, or again, a part in a song where I need a little more um, comfort, right? and I'm not around my pedal board or anything like that, I can just roll that up and kind of get me into my happy space, if you will, and to temporarily fix the situation, right? So oftentimes, yes, I use a distortion pedal or something like that, something for a solo or a boost or something. But oftentimes I might find myself in a situation where I'm either not near that or it's, I don't have that with, and that's where I'll use the SPC. So for me, 90% of the time, I don't use it. It's still like, again, I talked to Tommy about this from EMG and it's still in the circuit, right? So it's still making an impact. Um, but when I really use it are those two things, either again, live or in the studio, if I'm using an amp or something that I'm not as comfortable with, or it just doesn't have enough of gain for a particular situation I find myself in. Or again, I'm nowhere near my pedal board. I'm off doing something stupid. And, I need a solo or something, I'll just bump that up and I'm good to go. So if you've never tried an SPC control before, I highly re recommend that you give it a shot and see if it's something that might be able to help you. Again, for me, it is the absolute secret weapon and I have it in all of my guitars that have EMGs in them. So.